And he began again to teach by the seaside. And there was gathered unto him a great multitude, so that he entered into a ship, sat in the sea, and the whole multitude was by the sea on the land. And he taught them many things by parables, said unto them in his doctrine, Hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. And it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. Some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth. Immediately it sprang up because it had no depth of earth. When the sun was up it was scorched and because it had no root it withered away. Some fell upon thorns. The thorns grew up and choked, choked it and it yielded no fruit. Another fell on good ground and did yield fruit that sprang up and increased and brought forth some thirty some sixty, some a hundred. He said unto them, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. When he was alone, they that were about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. He said unto them, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, Thus at any time they should be converted, and their sins should be forgiven them. And he said unto them, Know ye not this parable? How then will ye know all parables? The sower soweth the word, and these are they by the wayside where the word is sown. When they have heard, Satan cometh immediately and taketh away the word that was sown in their hearts. And these are they likewise which are sown on stony ground. When they have heard the word, immediately receive it with gladness. And have no root in themselves, and so endure but for a time. Afterward, when affliction or persecution ariseth, for the word's sake, immediately they are offended, and these are they which are sown among thorns, such as hear the word, and the causes of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, and the lusts of other things entering in, choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. And these are they which are sown on good ground, such as hear the word and receive it and bring forth fruit, some thirtyfold, some sixty, and some a hundred. And he said unto them, Is a candle brought to be put under a bushel or under a bed, and not to be set on a candlestick? For there is nothing hid which shall not be manifested. Neither was anything kept secret, but that it should come abroad. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. He said unto them, Take heed that ye hear. With what measure ye met shall be measured to you, and unto you that hear shall more be given. For he that hath to him shall be given, and he that hath not from him shall be taken, even that which he hath. And he said, So is the kingdom of God, as if a man should cast seed into the ground, and should sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knoweth not how for the earth bringeth forth fruit of herself first the blade then the ear after that the full corn in the ear when the fruit is brought forth immediately he put it in the sickle because the harvest has come he said whereunto shall we liken the kingdom of God or with what comparison shall we compare it it is like a grain of mustard seed which when it is sown in the earth is less than all the seeds that be in the earth. When it is sown, it groweth up and becometh greater than all herbs, and shooteth out great branches, so that the fowls of the air may lodge under the shadow of it. With many such parables spake he the word unto them, as they were able to hear it, but without a parable spake he not unto them. When they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. The same day when the even was come, he saith unto them, let us pass over unto the other side. When they had sent away the multitude, they took him, even as he was in the ship. And there were also with him other little ships. And there rose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship. So that was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awakened him and said unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, 
peace be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. He said unto them, Why are ye so fearful? How is it that ye have no faith? And they feared exceedingly, and said one to another, What manner of man is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him?